All right, so we're gonna talk about how you can add this upvoting feature to your app where a user can go and tap on something, do some kind of action where it adds a vote to an item, but they can't do it multiple times and the counter is always gonna be updated to show however many votes it has across the board. So just to demonstrate really quick what it looks like, we have this colors app with different colors listed. I'm logged in as a profile that's already upvoted pink and yellow. And then another account has upvoted pink, yellow, and green. So we see the counts of two, two, and one, and then zero and zero down here. Um, and we can see I can upvote red, uh, and that adds the counter to one here. I can upvote green, that'll update the counter to two. I've already upvoted pink and yellow, so if I tap on those, it's going to do nothing. You could add an action to actually decrease the count if you wanted to do it that way, but this is the feature we're gonna build out. So let's get started. Right now we have this app designed and ready to go. We have a colors collection in our database, just has a name right now. And then we of course have our default users collection. I've gone ahead and created a test user so we can try this out and then some color records that we can use also. So basically, we've got it designed here. It's pulling in the name for the color, but none of this is dynamic yet. We have this kind of up arrow icon. This is just an icon element. And then below it, we have a text element, and I've just typed in the value of zero. But what we want is for this to show how many like upvotes or likes or whatever you want to call it, this particular record has received. And we're also tying this in with user profiles. So a user can't infinitely upvote something. They only get essentially one vote per item here. So let's actually build this out. First of all, in our database, we need to add a relationship between the colors and the users because we're going to build this out by actually adding the colors to a relationship field when a user taps on this icon. So we'll add a property to our colors collection, which is a relationship to users, and we'll choose this many to many option. Click done. And now we have a users field, and then we also have the reciprocal for colors here. We could make this a little more clear if we wanted to, like voted colors, just so we can keep track of what this relationship is actually doing. Okay, so now what we can do is go back to our list, We'll open up the specific element we want. We just double click to get through all the groups that I have. And I want it so that when they click on this group of the counter or the upvote arrow, this whole yellow box, it's going to essentially add one to the counter. So we're gonna add an action here and we're going to update the logged in user and we're going to add the current color to that logged in user's profile. So we'll click done there. And then next we need to display that this has actually happened by changing the counter, right? So currently it's just set to a static value of zero, but here we want to get the current colors user count. So this is the amount of people where the current color is stored in a user's profile. Okay, so let's test this out. We'll go into preview mode and then let's choose just one of these. Let's choose the pink one, right? and we see we have an upvote here. And if we click it again, it's not gonna go up anymore, right? Because we've already added this to our profile, but we can do other ones like this yellow one, right? Or this green one. Let's do one more test with another user here. So I'm gonna create a new user really quick. We'll just go in this way um, and add test at two.com. And then let's log in with that user. I'm actually missing a way to log out. So we'll just add a button really quick. We'll do a log out action and then link to the login screen. Let's go back into preview mode. We'll log out of our current account and log back in with this test at two.com. And then we see the values here are still reflected from the total amount of votes, even though we haven't voted with this profile yet but we can see that as soon as we tap it, the count goes up and still we're unable to increase the count more than we already have one time. So that's how you add a running counter to a list of items by using a relationship field.